empathy, uh, calling it an instinct is a, is a big word because instinct usually means purely genetically derived, which is rare for almost any behavior. But I think empathy is present in all the mammals and it probably started with maternal care because the female mammal, whether she's a mouse or an elephant, she needs to respond to the emotions, to the, let's say when her offspring is distressed or is cold or in pain, she needs to respond right away and if she doesn't respond right away, she's gonna lose them. There's all sorts of reasons to believe that maternal care is the origin and then it's spread from there to other relationships where it serves to help others in your community. I think it's very much an in-group phenomenon by, by origin. Let's say if I live in a group of 20 individuals, and, and my survival depends on that group, then I need to be sensitive to your well-being. I'm not interested in killing you. I'm not interested in, in, that you die of injuries or hunger or whatever, because you're a group member and, and I need you. And so empathy serves this purpose of survival within the group. I think empathy started with body connections. It started with synchronization. And so that, that kind of motor mimicry, it's called, uh, copying the body of somebody else, is a very important part of empathy. And I think that's where empathy starts. And that's why empathy is going to be found in many animals who have that same tendency. And then on top of that, you can develop more complex things. You can, you can I'm not just affected by your emotions now, I want to try to understand where they come from, or what is happening to you. And, and, and that requires a more cognitive skill that is not present in all the animals, but some animals, I think, some animals like elephants and chimpanzees, they have that capacity. <laughs>